Hello, it's Mr. Mabry, and this is a video about how we are going to make data tables and graphs on a test for Brightspace. Now, Brightspace is not designed for this to be able to happen, so we are going to do a workaround. And this video is making sure that you know how to do this so that on test day you don't get stressed out. Here we go. First, I'm going to open up our practice uh, test. It's going to say Unit 1 Test Practice Graph data table preview. Now once you open this up in Brightspace, you're going to see there are two questions. The first question is about Udolfo and how he wants to make a data table. And the second question is about, about the graph that Udolfo wants to make. So what I want you to do is to open up this practice test and I want you to go ahead and read about Udolfo's experiment and about how he's trying to um, see how high basketball bounces if, it, if different temperatures of air are put in it. And I want you to go ahead and take this data and turn it into a data table in Excel, just like it says right here. Make a data table for Udolfo. <coughs> then use the snipping tool to save a screenshot of it on your desktop as a JPEG. And then we're going to insert it down here as our answer. So let me show you how to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and go into Excel. Now, I didn't make a data table about the Dolphin Air Basketball. I'm going to let you do that. But I made a different silly one about jelly bean colors and taste, just to show you the mechanics of how it works. Now, I made a data table. And I want to remind you, data tables need to have all of these things. You want to have the dependent variable going all the way across with your units. Here's my independent variable, my, my experimental group. Notice as well, I have a title running all the way across that I went over here to fill. And I put a color in here just to make it sort of pop as I looked on the page. That's something we didn't do um, earlier in the unit because I forgot to mention it. But this data table title should be the same as your graphs title. These are the same. This down here is the, oh, that's embarrassing. Nope, that's right, color. So we have bean color, jelly bean color. Jelly bean taste to people, jelly bean taste to people, which means this really should say jelly bean color, except it needs to be a little bit smaller to make it. There we go. Okay, so now I'm ready to snip it. So if you've never done this before, you go to the start menu, you type in snipping tool, select the tool, click new, then take your mouse. Left click and hold what you want to snip. In this case, I'm going to snip just my data table for the first step. Then I'm going to right click on it, click Save As. My advice would be <coughs> Windows Monitor. My advice would be to save it in your desktop, and I would save it as Capture Test. Test practice data table. Click save. Now I'm going to go back to my test and I've got my data table ready to add. This is the button that says insert image. I'm going to left click, click upload, go to my desktop, find where I said capture, oh, what do we call it? Oh, capture test practice data table. Left click open, left click add, click this image is decorative, left click OK, voila, it's been added. Now I'm going to scroll down here, see what it says about graphing. Oh, that's right, I have to turn my data table into a graph, so I come back here. Assuming you've already done this, you turn your data table into the type of graph you want using the same techniques you learned earlier in the unit. I'm going to do the same steps. Come to my snippy tool. Tool, not a tootle. Click new, left click, drag, hold, right click, save as. I'm going to my desktop still. So I'm going to click capture, test, practice, graph. It's a JPEG. Left click, save. Going back to my test. Left click, left click. Upload, desktop, there's my test practice graph, left click open, left click add.
add, left click decorative, left click OK. Voila! Data table pictures in, looks beautiful just like it did in Excel. Graph is in, looks beautiful just like it did in Excel. Left click save all responses. Left click submit quiz. Ta-da! Now this looks different for me because um, I'm a teacher. If you do this, it should say it's done. Um, that's how you do it. Um, good luck, and we'll see. Check with me when you did to make sure you did it right.